Roger Walker on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> That's better. And that's even better than that. Okay, so it is day. I left the keys outside. Today's day four. Yeah, day four. So last night I watched another slasher flick. I watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2003 uh, movie. And I always love whenever there's a movie from 2003, a horror movie especially, because that's the day I was born. At 2003, I had some decent horror flicks. I mean, you got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Freddy vs. Jason, and uh, yeah, it, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, and I don't think there are more, but it's just that at the moment I can't come up with more. <laughs> so that's why. Uh, I didn't come up with anything. I'm not that big of a modern horror movie fan or early 2000 horror fan. But the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was awesome. I was, I, I thought this was like a shot, almost shot for shot remake. But it actually wasn't. It wasn't that bad actually and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the acting was really good. Jessica Biel was awesome. And she's um, the wife of Justin Timberlake. And I'm a big Justin Timberlake fan. I actually... Really enjoy his music. Letterface in this movie is awesome. There are some really cool and creative action sequences with him. It's actually pretty dark. I honestly think this is a little darker than the original. Which doesn't mean it's better than the original. I mean, the original is still better, but I really enjoyed this one too. I actually thought the tone was really pretty much different. There are some things that happened in the first movie too. But here's like with different gender, different age, different personality, which is really awesome. So it's a little twist to it. It's not a shot for shot remake. I, I'd say that I prefer the Friday the 13th remake over this one. But I definitely prefer this one over the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, which are from the same producers. There were some really gruesome and awesome kills in this one. Lots of blood, gore, uh, everything you could ask for, honestly, in a slasher flick. So, uh... I'd highly recommend this one. Definitely check it out, especially if you're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. Uh, but if you are a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, you've probably already seen it. So, who the hell am I to say you should check this one out, right? Yeah, no one. So, I'll see you guys again tomorrow on day 5 of Slash Film Week. See ya. Okay, cut that part out and then fade to black to the outro. <laughs> You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight.